This is lesson 10-1, circles and circumference. Your objectives are to identify and use parts of circles and to solve problems involving the circumference of a circle. A circle is named by its center. So if you have a circle with center point P, you will call that circle, circle P. A circle with a dot in the middle and the letter P, whatever the center point is. When you're referring to segments in a circle, make sure you label those with the segment bar over top of the endpoints. Refer to circle L for exercises 1 through 7. First off, it says name the circle. The name of this circle, use the circle with a dot in the middle, and the center point of the circle, which is L. So the circle is circle L. The radius of the circle is any segment that goes from the center to the edge of the circle. And we have three of those. Segment LR. It says name one. So you can name one, but I'll go ahead and put all of them. Segment LW. And segment LT. Any of those is correct. Number three, name a chord. A chord is a segment where the endpoints are on the circle, like segment RS and segment ST. Those have endpoints on the circle. Another chord is segment RT because it has endpoints on the circle. So those are three of them. Any one of those is correct. The diameter for number four is a chord that goes through the center. And this figure has only one, segment RT. Notice in segment RT, it has two radii. Radii is the plural of radius. Two radii that make it up. Radius LR and LT make up diameter RT. A radius is half as long as a diameter. Number five, name a radius not drawn as part of a diameter. Well, the two we just had were, the one that's not is radius LW. Six, suppose the radius of a circle is 3.5 yards. Find the diameter. Well, the diameter is two times the radius. And we can use that formula. The radius is 3.5, so D equals 2 times 3.5. So the diameter is 7, and that's yards. Use the formula D equals 2R. Diameter equals 2 times the radius. Number seven, if RT equals 19 meters, find LW. Well, RT is a diameter. LW is a radius. The radius and the diameter can be used in that formula. Diameter equals two times the radius. D equals 2R. In this one, the diameter is 19. Divide both sides by 2, and R is 9.5 meters. Radius is half of the diameter. 
and the diameter is two times the radius. Find the diameter and radius of a circle with the given circumference, round to the nearest hundredth. Well, we will use the formula C equals 2 pi r, where the circumference equals 2 times pi times the radius. Or we could use C equals pi times d, where the circumference equals pi times the diameter. So we're looking for the diameter and the radius, so we'll be using both formulas. Or we could also be using the formula d equals 2r. For number 10, the circumference is 21.2 feet. c equals pi times d will give us the diameter. C is 21.2, solving for D. Divide both sides by pi. Use the pi button on your calculator. Don't use 3.14. Use the pi button, and that will give you a better answer. So 21.2 divided by pi, nearest hundredth, is 6.75. The radius, D equals 2R. So 6.75 is 2 times the radius. Divide both sides by 2. And the radius is 3.38. And that's feet. And the diameter is also feet. So use your formulas to answer the questions. Number 11, C equals 5.9 meters. To find the diameter, we'll use C equals pi times D. C is 5.9. Divide both sides by pi. Remember to hit the pi button. The diameter is about 1.88 meters. The diameter is twice the radius. So 1.88 is 2 times the radius. Divide the diameter by 2, and the radius is about 0.94 meters. To so find the diameter, then take half the diameter to find the radius. Find the exact circumference of each circle using the given inscribed or circumscribed polygon. Since we're looking for the exact answer, I'm not going to be taking any square roots giving me decimals, or I'm, I won't be punching in the pi button. So I need the circumference, which is pi times d. I don't know d, but I can find d. D is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So we'll do the Pythagorean theorem to find what D is. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A and B are 7 and 24. And C is the diameter. That gives you 625. Square root both sides. And D is exactly 25. 
Now I know what D is to substitute back into the top formula. C equals pi times D, which is 25. And a better way to write that is to put the 25 before the pi. So C is 25 pi. And that is centimeters. If you're missing a value you need, solve for that value and then substitute it into the formula.